Hey there, fellas, here's what we're up to today. So on our VK page, where, like I've said before, you guys can feel free to leave your suggestions, a guy named Cyril suggested we try something. Namely, take a studded tire, a wooden plank, as crazy as that might sound, then we install the tire onto a car, and try cutting through the plank with the studs. Right here I've got myself a wheel and a plank. The tire is brand new. We literally just went out to buy it. The studs are sticking out just like they should. And here's the car itself. We didn't acquire this one with the intention of destroying it. As a matter of fact, it's gonna live a long, happy life. We're actually looking to use it for a build. Right, now I suggest we get everything mounted, head outside, secure the plank, and start hacking away. Okay, we've got everything prepared, we were in a bit of a rush. We had a bunch of thoughts on how to do this, but this is what we ultimately decided to go with. We stuck a few spikes into the ground, placed the plank in between them, and now I'm gonna slowly bring the car down on that jack. Fired up! Curious to see where this goes. Hit it, man! Can a studded tire cut through a wooden plank? Originally uploaded in April 2017. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. There we go. Wait a minute. Hold up, dude. Shut the car off. We need some extra reinforcement on that side to complement that second wheel. There we are. We've hammered another spike into the ground. Since the plank does still jump around, and we wouldn't want it to hit somebody on the head. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, for God's sake. We've got some torque on that wheel then. Let's keep going. Go for it. No, I don't think it's going anywhere and forth. Okay, that wheel also begins to spin. Shit. How do we jam it in place? Hang on, Sanya. Wait. So as soon as the wheel presses hard against the plank, it gains a bit of grip. It even cuts through pretty effectively. Anyway, we get some grip over here, and since the second wheel is planted on ice, it simply starts to spin. We did place a wedge under the wheel to keep the car in place, so here's hoping it stays put.
I can't tell whether it's the plank or the rubber wearing out faster. All right, fellas, here's what we're looking at. The tire is doing a great job cutting through, but we're still seeing a sort of groove in the center. You see, we weren't able to find a tire that would have some studs in the middle as well. All they had was the side studded variety. There was a certain model in stock of unknown origin. We didn't look into who made it. But the studs on that tire weren't even sticking out, unlike this one right here. So we went with it instead. While we're on the subject, you can see that they're abandoning ship. We've already seen a bunch of them fly out. I've picked a few of them up. And they're still brand new. Right, we've taken enough time off. Let's keep on hacking. Oh man, does it smell! Yeah, we're done here. Right, fellas, so here's the situation. In this duel between a tire and a wooden plank, the plank unexpectedly came out on top. There was just a tiny bit left, man. Though it's easy to break apart at this point, with just a bit of meat left. Meanwhile, the tire exploded. Looks like it got fed up with the cutting and decided to blow up. Like, please throw me in the bin. We'll get to that in just a minute. You know what, all in all this was a pretty clever idea. It actually worked up until a point. And here we're looking at the result of having no studs in the middle. The rubber has worn itself down to the core. Meanwhile on the plank itself we can see a sort of notch. Wow, that rubber is sticky. Eh, no worries, I guess. Right, time to wrap this one up. Watch us, send in those comments and suggestions. Give us a thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.